Hello, hello. Blartanian here with Ice Reaper Lufania, TCC challenge number two. I felt a little bit disingenuous bringing airlines for the uh, first TCC challenge I did for this stage, uh, because I mean technically it's allowed, but I mean it's airlines, so I felt um, I should do something a little more creative to try to redeem myself. And to that, uh, we're going to be bringing an int brave down strategy similar to the one that I used in the Strago Lost chapter. We got Edgar, Vincent, I'm oh, sorry, not Edgar, Edward, sorry, I'm just talking about Edgar in the Discord. Um, we got Edward, Vincent, and Golbez. Uh, before we really get down to this, uh, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, you know the drill. And uh, let me know in the comments who you ended up bringing for the TCC challenge if you used it. And if you didn't, uh, maybe let me know if you uh, want more information about it, because it's a lot of fun. So, we've uh, just about gotten set up here. We used Cloud Call and Ramza Call to manage the orb a bit, timing it so that we would get the plus four, so not too early. And now we have dropped Pain Call, uh, combined with Edward and Vincent, to bring the enemies to zero brave. This means for the first half of the fight, or at least the first half of their hit points, they're going to be unbreaking every other turn. And that's pretty radical. Meanwhile, we got Golbez there doing mad damage. We got Vincent still putting out decent numbers given how old his LD is at this point. Not to mention how old his kid is at this point. Oof. So. Uh, hoping with that call to avoid any sort of weird random summon breakage issues, but it ended up kind of doing nothing because for some reason their turns didn't move the way I wanted them to. Turns are weird in this game. It probably had something to do with cloud speed stat. I don't know. In any case, uh, what I'm realizing here is that I've goofed things up a little bit. The turn order is now backwards, so we're going to have to do some jiggery pokey to make sure that they... Uh, I actually hide in the summon so that I can fix the break order there. Because the entire point of this team is to keep pushing them back using that zero in brave situation. And we use the summon there to push them below 80% so we can stop worrying about that delay orb. Uh, this team does have a slight debuff clutter situation because uh, we, I think we actually have nine total debuffs, um, including the defense down from Edward and Vincent's skill two debuffs. Um, luckily, since uh, his skill 1 has fire resist down then in Brave, we don't have to worry about the in Brave falling off so long as we're mindful about it, you know, not being at the very end of the debuff chain. But you'll see me occasionally checking to make sure we're good. Strategy now is just the usual, you know, we don't have to worry about the orbs, so we can just kind of keep breaking them and unbreaking them and rebreaking them. Golbez will be using a skill 2 to break them, so I figured I'd get an, uh, a skill 1 in there since it has higher damage. Okay, go ahead and unbreak with the AA. It's a really fun strategy if you want to try it out. I was certain it was going to be kind of too big brain for me when I first heard about it, but in practice it ends up being a lot of fun. A little bit, it's a little bit finicky, not going to not gonna beat around the bush there, because um, Sometimes break orders can be uncooperative, and you have to really be careful about when you time your AAs and your calls and stuff. But once you get the hang of it, it's a, it's a lot of fun to do these int brave down things. Uh, you can do similar stuff with max brave down if you use. I think a dash is probably who you're going to need somewhere in there, call or something. I don't have dash, so that's not my thing. Uh, the other thing with Edward in this stage that I realized is I didn't realize how their cleanse mechanic worked. Uh, if the enemy is unable to take a turn due to paralysis, HP silence, lullaby, etc. Um, before they're below 80%, they cleanse all debuffs, and that sucks. For some reason, this stops happening after they go below 80%, um, which is part of why I didn't use lullaby during that first section, although obviously the first section, as you saw, was a bit of a, a mad dash to get them below 80%. But now that they're uh, a bit lower, we can, we'll be able to lullaby them safely. So, I'm doing some mental math here. Trying to figure out what I want to do. Facing out the turns here. Go ahead and knock them back. Getting a launch uh, is somewhat unexpectedly. I I'm noticing their launch icons aren't super consistent. Sometimes they don't seem to get them. 
Now we're going to go ahead and unbreak that guy. Reapply Vincent's LD. We're getting very close to that 50% mark. And that's when uh, we go into phase three of our operation here. Using Edwards A to not only unbreak them, but also to extend his lullaby, de uh, the, or his LD buff. You see that first one with the one turn left, which is where his all important brave damage up comes from. Now, it's go time. They're exactly at the 50% mark, just where I want them, so we're going to bring in Garland. Um, shocking, I know. I'm, I'm sure you haven't seen a whole lot of Garland this event. I feel like I've seen more Garland than I have Cypher, Jesus. Well, he's, he's, uh, he's still very good, that Garland. Now, tempting as it is to hit that EX button, I'm actually going to Lullaby here, because I see their turns are stacked up in such a way that... I should be able to get two turns of them not killing us, which is fantastic. I'm all about that. And on that note, instead of going to burst, I'm going to break them again, partially because, you know, break delay. And partially uh, to get the LD from Garland online, get that defense down aura. Refreshing Edwards' uh, his hide buff. And actually skipping the EX again just to keep uh, his, you know, his uh, standing auras in place since we're about to go into burst. You'll notice there also that Edward's lullaby falling off trigger uh, help with the orb, which is nice. Edward showing more usefulness. Let me get that sweet garland delay in midair thanks to me stalling out that LD buff. Now, in a truly ideal situation with, with Golbez, you go in with a free skill from his EX, but he does so much damage that it doesn't really matter. Look at that LD animation. It's beautiful. I love it. Really enjoying using blue Golbez. <laughs> that felt good. Nearly 3 million. I bet if I had played my cards right, I could have gotten it all the way up to 3 million, but I'm happy with this. I think it's finally time to actually hit that EX button. There we go. Speaking of EX buttons, it does feel weird to be this late in the fight without access to the summon. Usually this is the part where we start summoning and hitting for 1 million with Golbez's LD. But we needed it to get past that 80% threshold. This is kind of... At this point, because they're below 50%, their stats have gotten buffed to the point where iBrave is no longer at zero. Our gifts are no longer sufficient there. If I had, like, a Waka call, I guess it could still be there, but... Um, didn't pull Waka. Luckily, Golbez LD is here to keep us safe from their scary, scary all attacks. Now, our last turn of Garland there. So we're going to go ahead and lullaby here, because I'm pretty sure... I don't want them playing any debuffs or anything. The fight's almost over, so we might as well just take advantage of the brave damage up the lullaby gives us. Not to mention uh, the delay that'll manage the orb in the unlikely event that we can't kill them before the orb is ticking down. I'm gonna go ahead and jump turns with Vincent just to keep them off us. I guess I could have gotten a bit more aggressive with the LD, but it's all good. They're almost there. Satan slam shot. Gonna probably try to finish things off with Golbez here. Oh yeah, the last LD. Look at this. Can't see the damage there, but it felt good. There you go. Uh, a non-launch team TCC challenge uh, featuring some of my favorite characters. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.